Today I'm gonna be showing this beautiful girl how to trade supply and demand. I'm gonna be breaking down exactly how I trade, my strategy, my entries, what I'm looking for, at what time. So let's get into it. I'm sure this is gonna help a lot of you guys out. So he's basically gonna dumb it down. So if you guys need some extra help, I'm new at this. So whatever he can give off to me, hopefully you can learn too. Yeah, and then she does not know anything about nothing. Forex. She don't know nothing. She don't know how to place a trade. She don't know what up and down is. She don't know nothing. All right, so first we're gonna start off with bullish and bearish candle. So a bullish candle, is price when it's moving up it's a bullish candle right this is blue or green i'm colorblind but whatever color that is so blue is bullish yeah there you go see there you go it's like bearish bear reddish okay. yeah, you red is going down blue is going up all right buying and selling so supply and demand is that's when the banks enter the market so there's a lot of retail traders and there's institutional traders when the banks get involved you're going to see a big push which we call supply so this right here this big push of consecutive red candles is th this is how you know the banks are involved so what you would do is you would draw a box from the top of that and drag it across right mm -hmm. as you can see right here the banks got evolved again but they pushed it up this is what you're trying to locate in the markets right you want to trade with the banks you don't want to be a retail trader because those are the people that lose we wait for them to lose so we can win that's supply now let me show you what demand is this is basically demand right here this is buying going up so you would draw a box from here drag it across and eventually it'll come back down pretty simple right you're just looking for the big pushes big candles you're not going to complicate this i'm going to go to a random page turn your head to the side don't look Okay, turn back around. All right, you're gonna use this box right here, right? Yeah. Click it one time. I want you to draw the supply and demand zone. Just look on here, look for what I just told you, look for okay, the big so pushes. the demand is up. Yes. So I would say right here, I think this would be the demand, Yeah, right? exactly. It's Ooh. perfect. And you said supply is going down. This one's a good one too. Yeah, yeah, see, you're getting it. Quick. That was good right there. Ooh. That was really good. All right, so that was supply and demand. Blue, bullish. Oh, look, FYI, um, that's not blue, that's green. He's colorblind. Yeah, I'm colorblind. That was really good though. I didn't think you were you would get it that fast. Are you okay? Hey, are what you are you trying to say? say? Come no, 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 no. I don't are know about you. All right, so that's supply and demand in a nutshell, right? So that's what you want to look for. Now we're going to move on to the next thing, and is you want to look for gaps in the market, right? Got it. This is very important. There's like What's three to four things that I look for before I take a trade. One is supply. You understand what that is already. Mm -hmm. And the second is gap. So a gap is when price leaves supply zone and there's no wick. So wick is this stick hanging out, okay. right? The tail. It doesn't come back down to fill it in. It just keeps going. You see right here from this top of the wick to this bottom of the wick on the next candle. Okay. This whole place right here hasn't been touched. It didn't come yes. back down. If you see this candle, right? It pushed down mm -hmm. and then this candle came back up, left the wick and it closed the gap, right? Because oh. if this wasn't here, this little thing right here would be the gap. This little space right here would be the gap because there's no wicks right here. Oh, got it, got it. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know where you were going with that. Yeah, one. and as okay, soon as it. the next candle came, it filled the gap in, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what you're going to see. See right here? Let me go to replay mode. Right here, we made a gap, right? This is a gap too. There's no wicks on this side or this side. Okay, so they made a gap right here. So this has to be filled in. Once they do this, that means the banks came in and they pushed it too fast that some of the other banks didn't get in. So they have to come back down to let the other ones get in. And that's when we're gonna hop into the trade. So every gap needs to be filled. You see, this is a gap right here. Mm -hmm. So we're going for the gap to be filled. You see, it was filled right there. Okay. So you keep going. Now this one was filled and eventually this one's gonna get filled. Now it doesn't have to be back to back. It might happen three days from now, okay. but you can know for sure that this is gonna be filled. Yeah. All right, you see right there, there's another gap. The gap formed, the wicks right here. It got filled, and this is when we'll be looking for our entry, but we're not gonna get into that yet. All right, so now look to the side, turn back around, and I want you to use this tool. Put it where the wicks were. Remember I told you there's a wick right here and a wick down here? Just mark those ones out, wherever you see a gap. Okay, now remember you're looking for a gap, right? Yeah, like this? No, that's, that's a big wick. All right, you see this wick right here? Okay. Okay. Now the set, now this, this is the first candle, right? Okay. The second candle is the one that's gonna have the gap. Okay. So th this one went up and then it made this wick right here. Okay. This is the gap in between. They're not touching. This one, if it oh. wasn't a gap, it would be down here okay. and touching. Oh, okay, now I get it. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is the first one. And since there's no wick or whatever you're saying, this is the second one, so this whole thing's the gap? Where would you put the second line at? Uh, it didn't do it. Right, right this one. I yes, that's the gap right there. Good yeah? Gap. Yes. Okay. So I don't know it. what you're stressing about. It's kind of easy. Uh, <laughs> I imagine. <laughs> All right, now let's try it again because you were a little iffy on that one. Okay, find the gaps in the market. I'm going to use this one. Mm -hmm. So that one. Yes, sir. Good job. He's oh. not telling me, by the way. No, I'm not. Because I know there's going to be a lot of cuts because I'm going to edit this, but he's not telling me. No, I want you to ask a lot of questions so they understand. Okay. Now find the gap that's going up because you've been doing the bottom okay. one. First, so, look for a supply that's going, one? pushing up hard. 
Well, it's not pushing it apart, but this would be a little gap. Yeah, that definitely would be a gap. All right, good job. good so job. So the hard one, challenge accepted. This one and this one, right? And this would be no. Yeah, no, that's right. You're yeah. right. Uh -huh. Okay, you you gotta push it a little bit. Yeah, I was like a little too. But yeah. yeah, it is technically a gap. Okay. I mean, there's this big ass one in your face right here. But you're doing good. You found the little ones that oh, are more harder. Oh! Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. You found the harder ones, so it's good. Oh, thank you. All right, so first one has a supply, and then you want to look for a gap. And then you want to wait for that gap to be filled. Now we're going on to the next thing. Now this gap needs to be filled 100%. Okay, so we have the supply push, right? Okay. Right here. Now that's step one. Okay. Once that happens, we wait for a gap to be formed. Okay, and we would draw right here. This is the gap. Oh, bro. I get nervous, so I'm pretty worried. All right, so this is the gap filled, right? So we got okay. the supply push. The supply push made a gap. Now we wait for it to come back and be filled. And now what you want to do is you want to draw your box from the bottom one. All right, from there's three candles, right? From candle number one, you want to draw it from the top of it to the bottom of it. And then um, you want to drag it to wait, the right. Which one would be candle number one? This one, one, because we're or going up. Oh, green one. No, the wait. green one. So this is candle number one. This is candle number two that always has the gap. And okay. this is three. So you draw from the top of the first one to the bottom, right? All the way to the bottom. And you draw a box. Once price comes back and taps into it, okay. then you want to be looking to enter, right? So price pushes up, comes back down, fills it 100%. Okay, so once that happens, you're going to enter on the next candle, right? So okay. this forms. Once price on this candle comes and breaks this right here, it goes higher than this, okay. you're entering the trade, no hesitation. You're gonna put your stops below it. Don't have it like right up on its ass, like pull it like a little bit down. And then th that's the whole trade right there, and then you just hold it, okay? Now I know it's kind of a lot to take in. Look to the side, yeah, look to the side, I'm gonna find one and you're gonna try it. You're getting this really fast, so I thought we were gonna spend an hour on supply. Really? Money. Yeah, I was thinking we we're gonna do like two seasons with this down here, <laughs> trying to teach you. Okay, so this is where we're at, right? Okay. Now you're gonna push this one to forward. Click it one time and keep doing until you see your setup draw everything as you see it going once you see a supply say okay i see a supply once you see a gap mark it up and draw the box at the bottom remember that go ahead okay that would be the gap no yes mark it up and then draw the box mm -hmm. um on the bottom of this one right no you said the top jk to the bottom yeah, that's perfect. I swear you, who, who you learn trading from? Who you learn? The best teacher in the world. Uh-huh, it ain't for me because you're <laughs> learning way too fast. Okay, so that's the Yeah. Okay, now How do you do the, um, this? The what? To buy? Like to mark it where you're Yeah, buy? to mark it. Um, that one. It would be that one? Yeah. Okay, do I have to play it out or is that like... No, you keep playing until you think you're going to enter. Oh, okay. So I would enter right there. This is the one? Yeah. So I would mark it. Oh, how do you go? You said to barely touch it. Right there. Yeah. And then you would get in, right? Yeah, that's where so you want to get in. Push next. Yeah. Oh, this matters or no? No, you have it good. Oh, okay. Click right here, like anywhere. Anywhere else. Okay. Ooh! Did I win my first yeah, trade? Forex <laughs> trader, bro. Forex trader. I won my first trade, Marisha. <laughs> <laughs> now let's see how far that would have went. Ooh! Oh, that's good. You get out of after that, but come on now, bro. One to three. Need a little way. I need to take a challenge. You uh. <laughs> but you got this really fast. I'm surprised. Really? You know, I'm a good teacher. Yes, yeah, sir. You want to stay after class? <laughs> Extra credit? But that was very good. Thank you. Look at you. All right, I mean, you I don't know, know what else I got to tell you. Now you just got to back test, and we'll do another video on that where you're back testing. So you got it like bam, 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 and then we're going to put you on. I mean, two for two. Two for two. Two for two. I think I should buy a challenge. Yeah, we're, that's going to be the next video. We're going to buy here a challenge, so make sure you guys subscribe. Comment down below if you have any questions that you didn't understand in here. I'm not really a teacher. I'm doing my best, but hey, she you're got really it. You're really a good teacher if I got it two for yeah, two. She got I've it. I've never in my life sat down. Like, no, like this. never, bro. Never. This is not like some video where we did this beforehand. Yeah, like I'm not a trader. Yeah, but round of applause for her. 
teacher too. That's it for this video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.